Hello everyone, this is Marcus Lee, and I'll be going through um, Wylock Lesson 22 for 7th grade math. So, starting off with number 1, we're going to factor the trinomial. And our first question is negative x squared plus x plus 20. What I like doing is just initially factoring out this negative on the outside, so we'll get x squared minus x minus 20. So we're just going to leave this uh, negative on the outside for now. So when we factor this, we're going to get x minus 5 and x plus 4. And I'm not sure how you want to simplify this, but I guess you could distribute the negative into one of your factors and you could get negative x minus 4 times x minus 5. Okay, moving on, we have negative y squared plus 2y plus 8. So again, I like factoring out this negative, so we have negative on the outside, y squared minus 2y minus 8. Keep this negative on the outside, this, whoops, this is going to factor to y minus 4 y plus 2. So if we want to distribute the negative again, we could get negative y minus 2, y minus 4. Okay, number 3, same, same thing. We have negative a squared plus 12a minus 27. Let's just move this uh, factoring out this negative is not mandatory but I find it convenient because one you it's hard to forget about it if you leave it on the outside because you could see it and also uh, it's just easier for me personally to factor these inside uh, values without the negative there so we have a squared minus 12 a plus 27 we're gonna keep this negative on the outside like I said we're gonna get a minus 9 and a minus 3 so we could get negative a plus 9, a minus 3. You could also leave the negative on the outside. It doesn't change your answer as long as you distribute properly. Okay, page 2, it says solve the equation. Right here we have 7a squared plus 2a equals 5. Some people may think that they could just factor out an A and then begin to solve, but instead we actually have to move this 5 to the to this side by subtracting and set the entire equation to 0. The reason we do this is because now we have to factor in order to find all of our solutions. Because if we just factor out an A, it might not always yield all the solutions possible. So here we have a leading coefficient of 7 and when we multiply that by negative 5 we get negative 35 so what we're trying to find is factors of negative 35 that will add up to 2 right here so so we have 7a squared plus 7a um, not plus minus 5a minus 5 if you don't know how I did that you could also check out our other videos but my two factors are positive 7 and negative 5. When I multiply them, they equal negative 35. And then, conveniently, when I add them up, they equal 2a. So what I've done is I've separated 2a into 7a minus 5a. And this way, I could factor by grouping, in which I factor out a 7a, and I'm left with a plus 1 in these two terms and in these two terms I factor out a negative 5 and I'm left with a plus 1 as well so at the end we get these common factors we keep as 1 so we're left with 7 a minus 5 and a plus 1 is equal to 0 we need a bit more space here we're not completely done yet we want to set each factor equal to 0. 7a minus 5 is equal to 0 and a plus 1 is equal to 0. 
7a minus 5, we want to move the 5 over and then divide both sides by 7. So we have a equals 5 over 7 and to solve this one we just subtract 1 on both sides and we get a equals negative 1. That's page 2 done. Page 3 it says find the zeros of the polynomial function. When we're instructed to find the zeros of the polynomial function we want to set this f of x equal to 0. And then previously I factored out this negative and then just factored normally. So here I will get negative x minus 5, x minus 7. Oops. We could do 0 equals negative x plus 5 and 0 equals x minus 7. So here we'll get x equals 5 and x equals 7. Same thing here, we want to do set f of x equal to 0. 3x squared plus x minus 14. Uh, like one of the questions we did earlier, when we have a leading coefficient that's greater than 1, or that's not 1, we want to multiply it by this constant value here. So 3 times negative 14 is equal to negative 42. So what we're trying to find is two numbers that will multiply to equal negative 42, and when we add them up, they'll equal 1. So if we do that properly, we get 6 and 7. So now, among these two terms, we could factor out common values and the same thing with these two terms. So we could factor out a 3x here and we're left with x minus 2 and we could factor out a 7 and we're left with x minus 2. These two common factors, x minus 2, can stay and the remaining the remaining two terms, 3x plus 7, become their own factor, 3x plus 7. And when we set them both equal to 0, we're going to need a little more space once again. Um, we get 0 equals x minus 2 and 0 equals 3x plus 7 when we set both of our factors equal to 0. x equals 2 and 3x equals negative 7, x equals negative 7 thirds. That's a negative by the way, right here. There we go. And finally, we're asked to factor out a common binomial. So if you caught on to what I was doing in these previous problems where I was factoring by grouping, we're looking for two common factors in the, in the equation and you could factor that out. So for example, we have x plus 4. We see that twice in parentheses as I indicated with these arrows. We have, so we have one factor is x plus 4, and then after we factored out x plus 4, we want to look at our remaining terms, which are going to be 2x and negative 3, which I indicated in blue. So the other two factors are 2x minus 3, and that's how you factor out the common binomial. Another example is number 4 right here, and this is y, whoops, y squared plus y plus yx plus x. So if you think of this in, here I'll, I'll use colors, if you think of this in two, two groups, we could use yellow and green. We want to factor out something common in, in both of these groups. It's kind of hard to explain, but I could try to demonstrate. So in this yellow group, y squared plus y, we could factor out y, and when we factor out y, we're left with y plus 1. So this, this term, y plus 1, is inside the parentheses, so that's also what we're looking to factor out from this set in green. So if you look at 
this set of terms, yx plus x, we could factor out an x, and we're also left with y plus 1, which we're looking for. Like I said, we're, we're looking for the pair of um, factored out binomial. So our factors become y plus 1, which are these two, and then the remaining is y plus x. And there you go. Um, that's going to be it for today. Thank you for listening. I hope this was helpful.